What's up guys, General Tony here, back with a very unique video today. I've had a lot of requests on Instagram, YouTube, etc. in the comments asking me what current apps I'm using to edit thumbnails, pictures that I've uploaded, etc, etc. So this is the first and only app I'm going to be reviewing inside of this video, and this is called Autodesk Pixlr. It's completely free on the Android and iOS store, app store, and is very easy to download. So basically, once you've downloaded it, you have four options. You have the camera, the photos, the collage, and the fresh. So the fresh is the current one that you've been editing. The camera is to take a new photo. The photos are the current ones on your device. And the collage is to set up a collage. So I'm going to go ahead and click on some recent ones to show you. Okay, guys. So as you can see, there's nine photos inside of the camera roll. The first photo is the original and the second is the edit. The third original, fourth edit, fifth original, sixth edit, seventh original, and eighth edit. The ninth photo is the one we're about to edit now. So, we're going to go ahead and click fresh, and it's going to take us into the app. And you have six tabs down the bottom. You have adjustment, effect, overlay, borders, type, and stickers. So I'm going to go ahead and show you each tab plus its sub-tabs. So this tab has a lot of features which you don't really need to mess with so you've got the double exposure you've got the brightness the red eye the color the contrast etc etc i don't really play with this as it doesn't really do much and it's only if you want an extremely professional photo so we're going to go ahead and leave that because you don't really need to go into detail about it. everything is self-explanatory within this tab so next we're going to go in look at effects so you have several sub tabs here also so you have unicolor vintage default creative soft subtle and too old now, if you see, if you look at too old, it hasn't been downloaded yet. So to download the, the sub tab, you simply need to click it and it downloads in seconds. So then you click on the sub tab and it gives you options within it. As you can see, these change. You can go along here. There's loads of options. Press cancel to cancel it. And then you can go into another one. So we're going to go into creative. So you can click that and create several different oranges. I'm going to go into subtle. So let's hit that okay so that's the photo i'm going to click apply now it's been applied okay so we're going to go into the next main tab which is overlay this is a very exciting tab you've got several different backgrounds you can apply here you can do the beams that's very effective burst etc so they're under retro poster if you go into flames the flames are also very effective as you can see that brightens the orange quite a lot and makes it stand out Within these features, you can also rotate the flames if you wish. That looks far better. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. So we've applied the flames. You also have other ones like fireworks, etc. Et and this is also very effective, the canvas tab. So you can change the actual quality of the entire photo. That looks like a painting, etc. Harsh, you've got paper, you've got sand effect, skin, soft wall and weave so we're going to press cancel because we don't want any of them you can of course choose whatever you want the next tab is borders so you have several borders here as you can see there are 10 different borders some haven't been downloaded so as again just to download it quickly just click on it and it downloads once the blue's gone that means it's fully downloaded you can then go in and choose what you want so these are different borders one which works exceptionally well is ink so you go into ink and then it gives you loads of different sub tabs once again. And you can ink up your photos, make them look old, make the contrast change. That looks very effective to go with the smoke and the fire. The next tab is of course type. You need type to type. Type whatever you want. So I'm going to type YouTube. And there it is. So you can go in here and you can change the text to whatever you want. Let's choose something nice and bold. There we go. You can centralize the text, make it on the right, or make it full. So I'm going to centralize it, make it smaller, and just put it there. Then I'm going to change the color to something which stands out a little more, some baby blue. Apply. As you can see, there are several different texts you can get. You can get this one here, which is 3D, which is very effective. That kind of writing, it looks very nice and works perfectly on certain photos. So that's text covered. The last tab is stickers. So in here you've got you haven't got much to choose from, but it is, it is quite a lot. 
for what you want to do. So you've got some stars and things like that, fairy dust. And one which I particularly like is the comic one, as it has things like R, E, Bam, Bang, Boo, etc. And one I've used a few times is the exclamation. You can put that at the end of any title. You can then rotate it or make it larger and smaller. So, as you see, that works quite well. So, you also have other tabs, like the Gay Pride tab. So, you've got Female, Gay, Lesbian, Male, etc, etc. I don't know what that is, but you've got the Peace sign. Maybe we'll put that next to the orange, an orange of Peace. And, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go into the Nature tab and put a Bumblebee there, because Bumblebees like sweet oranges, don't they? There we go. Let's see what other bugs we can get. Maybe put a little palm tree in there. Growing out the top of the orange. So guys, as you can see, it's very simple. It's very easy to do. And it works perfectly for what you want to do. Just for simple thumbnails or simple Instagram uploads. Anything like that, this is the perfect app. It's completely free and downloadable from the iOS and Android store. So once you've completed your image, you can literally just... Go back and maybe change any features you want. Maybe you want to change the effect again once you've already once you completed your photo. So let's go into vintage and let's make it a little bit different. That one's nice. Just hit apply. And there you have it. So that is your final image. All you need to do now is hit save. And you can either share it by clicking share, which you can share it on Facebook, Instagram, etc. etc. YouTube, anything like that. You can change the current size by hitting resize. Now it offers you several different sizes, of course, certain sizes are for certain uh, platforms. So Instagram requires a certain size, YouTube requires a certain size, so you can go and figure that out yourself. It's not too hard to figure out just by Googling it. Once you've chosen your size, just hit current size and it's going to save it to your camera roll. Shouldn't take too long. There we go, save to camera roll. If you enjoyed this video guys, please hit that like button as it does help my channel out, does help it grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do very good videos, high quality, every day on Clash of Clans and the additional video like this, if it's required by my subscribers or viewers. As ever, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for many more great videos to come.